Well, hello and welcome to another game, another day. Dragons Dog Remish from 47 from Serbia. Serbians are tough players, you know that. Djokovic is a Serbian, he's a tough player. And now we have the classical Nimzovic defense declined Williams variation with a soft but delicate bishop e2 and a swivel strategy from uh, knight c6 all the way to knight g6. Uh, wonderful little pike maneuver. So far, a very fluent, fluid game. And now we have the first quirky move. Let's just call it that. Clearly intending f4. Clearly intending f4, but also also knight here. So let's give this one some room. F4 is um, strategically unsound. Strategically unsound, um, but not like terrible. Now it will become very vital to uh, try to make this pawn break difficult to execute. But that's probably easier said than done. Key is to not get too reactive, don't get too scared. Just um, do something about this. Try to put Try to plop a piece in there. What can we do? I'm gonna try to get this queen activated. Maybe it will also have a role to play in this position. Could always take that. But it ends up getting some momentum in, in White's game and really fueling the attack, which is anyway uh, not what we exactly want. But I think we have to do it anyway. This queen does have a good rear guard defensive repost over here, and, and this kind of threat is also quite nasty. It forces him to react. And now we can actually get our knight off that crazy square and get our bishop into the fray, which we always wanted. We could even go bishop here. It would be a saucy move. That would be a saucy move. Let's do it. That's a very saucy move because, well, if he takes, then you lose this. And if he doesn't, if he does this kind of move, then, then what? You have a weakness here for the bishop. And you could actually go ahead and just check, take, 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 and still the same motif applies. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I take it with the bishop. Force a reaction. We have an extra piece now. But he's held on to this stuff here. So I guess we just gotta accept that. He's held on to this stuff, but he lost something over here. Now does the bishop, does this knight come in with check? Do we do we have any tactics here? No, not really. He's going with check. Let's just see if he makes a blunder. Yeah. Let's take it with the bishop.
Now, surely he's asking for trouble. I'm going to get my queen in here, because this diagonal is heating up. Heating up. He's got to move his knight. It's not an easy move to spot. He found it. He found it, but he loses it, though. Now, do we deliver another check? No, he's got he's got good coverage. Let's just take him. No. Yeah. Well, I guess we got to take one, give one. Probably take this knight as well, unless we want to try something sneaky, snarky. Nah, let's keep it simple. Okay, so it's just a clean pawn up, uh, sorry, rook up kind of position. It's just about converting it now, making sure we don't get mated on the back rank. And in fact, we should put our own sort of uh, threats on the back rank here, just to keep him honest, keep him scared, fearful, afraid. Yeah. Eventually, you even coax the blunder by doing that, don't you? Uh, no stalemate here. There's no stalemate. All right. Good game. Good game. 